Looks like Darren Dust Mato is a bit streaming as well. So if you would like somewhere else to head off to. Darren Dust is playing for that 76 as well. Speaking of, there's some poor life for us. I know. Oh, short clip. Why do I hear bubbling? And also, why is Hogwarts Legacy detecting network connection first time activity this early? Hogwarts Legacy. Code fusion technology. Server O one code fusion technology. 
I would like to look into your domain. Appreciate being snooped on. I know I have signed up for a crap load of stuff against my better judgment to get access to this game. It's got Denuvo anti-tamper and I don't know what version it could be keylogging everything I type on the day. Well, it's collecting log data and memory and this. So. Mr. Give me my keyboard. Give me my keyboard. Phone. Phone. Whereas I'm trying to Google something and I can't even type anything. I don't have a keyboard. What's going on? Give me my keyboard. Thank you. Code Fusion Tech Technology. Code Fusion Technology is probably directly tied to Denuvo. Now that I think about it. Which means if Denuvo ever changed their certs or domains or... Yeah, this would be another internet locked game. Well, it's, well, I'm told it'll be cracked soon. I haven't seen any news about it being cracked yet, but... Sad for Warner Brothers. They put a, a, a fix the lifespan on this software, so people are going to want to play it when that lifespan runs out or when Denuvo screws something up. But such was Warner Brothers' decision when they added Denuvo to the software. Unless they patch it out, hey, there you go, Warner Brothers, patch out this and people will be less likely to pirate your game. Isn't that weird? DRM. Counterintuitively making people more likely to pirate the game so that I get locked out of playing the damn thing. Okay, I've already ranted on Denuvo multiple times. The first time I opened the game, I gave a mini speech on it. Because I had to have an internal argument with myself and whether or not I was even going to install and play the game. I mean, I had already installed and played the game. What the argument was actually about was hypothetically, if I say I don't agree to Genuvo's terms of service, at the point where I am currently reading those terms of service and end user license agreements, if I say no, I do not agree, but Denuvo has already been doing the suspect stuff and probably my theory is illegal stuff, if I say no. <laughs> and there, in case point, is the theory. If I say no. Shush, phone, I can't believe I've had you not on silent this whole time and just been lucky you haven't beeped at me. But something I would like to explore at a later date. Since I actually am going to be playing Hogwarts, I couldn't have tested it for this one. But the idea would have been... If I say no, and Denuvo is already on my computer, spying and keylogging and recording... Uh... What happens when I say no? Can I take them to court and sue them for invading my privacy? I don't actually know what protections I would have 
Because as far as I know, there's no law against me running software on my computer without consenting to a user license agreement. Denuvo's case and defense in that hypothetical would probably be that I executed the Denuvo software and I was the reason it was running in the first place, even if I didn't agree to the end user license agreement of having it run. That's my theory. But I just love the idea that I could open a program with Denuvo embedded, say I don't consent to them recording my data, close the program down, and then try and use that to see if Denuvo could be forced to make that software less invasive. Probably not. There are so many apps and games that don't even ask. The fact Denuvo does ask is probably way more credit than I would be giving. Like, in a court of law, they could probably get away with so much more than what they do. I think half the reason they are being so polite as to tell you and announce it and put it in legal terms with legal protections is probably very likely so that they can't have anyone pull anything like that. I like to dream, though. For it would be a joyous day when Denuvo was the least of my worries. You know. I know this. Up until Hogwarts released, I have been aggressively dropping games that implement Denuvo. At least any I'm aware of. Right. Should we get rid of the flappy bird? Perhaps we get rid of the flappy bird. Also, I did spend a little while. Let's actually have a look here. I've got a couple of order saves here, but the one I should load is this one. So February 15th, 2023 was the last time I streamed the game, and this is where we left off. I also went into the Dark Arts Battle Arena and ran around and did a bunch of puzzles. So I'm going to make sure we load the right one. I'm going to get rid of my preview, and I'm probably going to get rid of the bouncy ball. Let's have the game for now. I really do feel like I'm losing my voice, though. Okay. It looks like it loaded the right one, weirdly. Gotta wait for it to buffer in. I might have to turn Steam Social off again. Probably for the best. Although it loading in for the first time is obviously going to take a while. Right. So. Let's turn Steam Parental Mode on. Get back my CPU slightly. Oh, I'm yawning again. This is not allowed. And we are going to do... A couple of story mode quests before we go back to exploring. If we go back to exploring. If that's the Quidditch thing. I don't know the name of it.
I have a question. Why is the audio not coming through properly? Or at all, for that matter? I don't remember if I can configure audio in the in-game menu. Let's have a look before we get... No. Okay. Oh, there's a pitch changer here for the character voice just in the menu. Oh, I'm a bit daft. I need the program open to change the channel, don't I? Oh, we gotta reopen it anyway. It wasn't one of those where I had to change the default audio track. It's please tell me it's just reset because of an update. Game's just hiding.
My settings window isn't even responding. Just straight up didn't load any of the apps. Warlock! Look, I'm in. I'm trying to get the sound to work. Go drink oh, and tap safe. Oh, drink only water and milk. That still works, I'm pretty oh, sure. Stones be weak. Like Skyrim. Oh, water is healthy as fuck, bitch. You better drink water, drink water, drink water, drink water, bitch. Oh, drink water, drink water, drink water, bitch. Oh, drink water, drink water, drink water, bitch. Oh, drink water, drink water, drink water, bitch. Oh. Thank you for the hydrate. I have a hunch that we're not going to see any of the volume options appear until after the game actually responds. Or not. Game is moving and I still don't see any sounds. Hey, Hogwarts crashed. What's new? Actually, to be fair, we're as kind of trashy as the game has run. It hasn't ever crashed on me. Oh, I know why the audio is reset. I moved it to a different drive. Windows doesn't recognize it anymore because it's on a completely different storage device. Thinks it's a different program. Come on, settings app. Ooh, settings app. Look at you go, be in a settings app. Loading buttons and stuff. Oh. I think two decades ago, we had interfaces that loaded on like a tenth of what we have now. There we go. We got audio. Oh. Windows 95 could run on a thumb drive these days. Windows 10 interface takes 10 minutes to load. <laughs> oh no, I moved the game last night to an SSD. I was planning to stream it last night, but I've had... Just internet has been dropping out non-stop and the device causing the problems has been bypassed and is still every hour on the hour seems to be rebooting itself and complaining and then rebooting and then complaining. Ah, I love hands-free technology. It's great when it works and when it doesn't you wonder why the fuck you spent $400 on a piece of technology that can't be configured or troubleshoot. You can't troubleshoot it. You can't diagnose it. You have no control over any of the features or settings. You get to f there's a button on the bottom to factory reset it. Did you know that? 
In fact, I think that's the only butter on the device. Hands-free technology is such a brilliant design. I didn't, thankfully. God, you wouldn't catch me spending $400 on hands-free technology. The closest I get to plug and play is a USB storage device. But, to answer the question, it's a ubiquity unify wireless modem that for some reason has failed on three parts because the first failure was that it didn't know what a core switch was. Because it didn't know what the core switch was, it had to then host the network and push to the core switch. So. For some reason, the Ubiquiti Unify device is the thing that gets internet first. Then the core switch gets the internet. That makes sense. Uh, the second failure being that it automatically updates. Now, that's a problem for two reasons. Something that handles your network internally and externally can just randomly turn itself off of its own free will and tell you the fuck off for an hour or two while it doesn't update that you didn't ask for at any point could be while you're streaming could be while you're uploading to youtube that four hour time frame you set aside to upload to youtube and do nothing else well the ubiquity unify router can just tell you fuck you i'm doing an update lovely piece of software that automatic anything in technology is the engineer saying i'm better than you there is no reason to ever have it the third and final problem, and there's a part two to this, third and final problem is that it has no interface or configuration panel. There's a single button on the damn thing, and that's the factory reset button. That's it. That's the only button this stupid device has. Factory reset. And then just pray. Get on your knees, put your hands together, pray that when you factory reset it, the device knows what to do because you sure as hell can't tell it what to do or configure it. Part two of this is that if it ever malfunctions, good fucking luck. Good $400 spent. Good money. Uh, you, you would have actually got more value for your dollar if you'd put the money in a frying pan with some ketchup. Now sure, hands-free technology does just work when it does just work. The problem I have with it is that when it doesn't, you're up Shit's Creek and have no way of, like, you can't do anything. Turn it off and on again. Hit the factory reset button 17 times and wonder why it's still not booting after you factory reset it for the 17th time. Yeah. Meanwhile, for the last almost decade, I have run on a trash modem sent to me by my internet service provider. And do you want to know how many times it failed? Once. My modem, my bottom of the barrel, absolute gutter trash modem, failed once in eight years. And this $400 piece of... Well, okay, arguably, in my tier list, my modem is above this. So... Because mine actually has a configuration panel. <laughs> I, I can actually configure it. There's a direct line in and everything. I can plug into my old modem. Physically plug into it. Good. Connect to it. Now, for your first lesson, wait. Fly no. Oh, wait. Aim a bear loud. Stop being so loud. But wasn't my money. And I have already agreed to a compromise since I will be using this internet and I will, for some reason, apparently have to deal with this piece of technology being utilized. I don't know why. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? 
I don't know who reads what's synonymous with the worst brand of network technology on the planet and thinks that that's a good bargain just because it has good reviews from people who think that, yeah, I enjoy buying worst technology on the planet. Anyway, my compromise was if they can stop it from auto-updating any way possible, I don't care if they blacklist the update address, I don't care how they do it, if they stop it from auto-updating, which will fix the device telling us when we have internet, right? If the device can be stopped from telling us when we do and don't have internet, I have said that I am not going to randomly replace it one day in the near future or complain as much when it inevitably fails again in the near future. <laughs> it's like the worst brand I've ever heard of. I've never had one of these brands launch without problems. They always require troubleshooting. Maybe twice or three times. You have to come back for a second appointment when it inevitably collapses under its own weight of just running like a normal router does. And then if they ever want to expand their network, you just have to, again, get down on your knees and just pray that any extra hardware you install also just plays nice, because if it doesn't, it can crash the whole system, not just itself. Ah, oh, that's a brilliant plan. $400. I know in the router world, that's not even that much, but you could have got a Fritz box for that price. Like, you could have actually got something decent. Well, for that price, we could have actually got ourselves a modem that connects to the Tor network. You know, like, when you're paying that sort of money, I don't know why you would pick a device that literally can't be configured. But hey, not my money. And I've said, so long as the internet doesn't turn itself off, I'm not going to complain as much or randomly replace it. That was my compromise. If it continues to randomly turn itself off of its own free will, I can't guarantee it's not going to be replaced with some bottom tier trash piece of hardware that just does what I tell it to instead of the other way around. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say, up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Not really much of a seat. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. And no, I have... Up. Well, I have used the Tor network. One leg I, over, uh, so there's a leg haven't on in a side. while. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. I have definitely got myself Good. on the FBI now, digital terror watch list. For your list. first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do this take brilliant. care. The brooms are well, still though, property. I want them returned in one piece. I doubt I needed I the tour network for that. Okay, I did it. Now what? Huh. 
Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Sure. That was like a weird, almost fourth wall break talking to me kind of... Oh, flying broom. There we go. Speedy this time. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, but what's amusing is that even just having privacy in mind is enough for the FBI digital security watch list to be recording your details down. Probably be oh, so much easier on controller. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. So you can sort of steer with your if they turn the mouse. So if you don't want to lose your speed. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make oh. an appearance once in a while. I didn't know we had a kraken. Did you have a kind of your just by mouse turning? Uh oh. Emperors. Was is the usual tank controls though. That wasn't too bad. Hello. I don't know if I was meant to be going faster than that or not. Have a moment. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Sure. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. It's a ubiquity unified dream. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Let's hope the headmaster isn't happy. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the garden, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. Was that the Hufflepuff windows? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh, well, there goes the map. So we haven't fixed the game's stuttering issue. In fact, the SSD weirdly might have made it worse. <laughs> ah. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part here? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plaintiffs and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. This doesn't feel very fast. Maybe the brooms do have a speed stat. How do I dismount? I don't know how to dismount. E, G, F, C, X, C, V, T, G, E, N. Thing looks like an air purifier? It? Yeah, functions like one too. 
which is not good for a network device. But hey, it's not my $400. And hey, for what it's worth, if they get it working and disable the ability for it to tell me when the internet is on or off, I get to live with it. Hip, hip, hooray. Eh. Not looking forward to putting up with that thing being on the network. If it were up to me, it wouldn't be on the network, but I'm trying to push for it to be put at the bottom of the topology tree and not actually handle the DHCP servicing. We got a bloody server for that, but it doesn't know what a 20... The device, the air purifier, doesn't know what a core switch is and for some reason can't receive traffic from a core switch. I don't know why. Why buy a device that literally doesn't do its job? Who knows? Why pay $400 for an air purifier that you plug into a network? I don't know. What am I looking for? Caps lock? Walk. Take off. Dismount is B! I have been lied to. I pressed B. Ugh. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, there we go. Am I meant to? Oh, there we go. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still... I... Because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough! Class is finished for the day. As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. Think I care about Shut house up. points? That was some rather good flying. You're lucky I don't know about a cadaver. Then we'll see who has the least house points. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Oh yeah, I'm being mean. Uh, yeah, let's blame him. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kugawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. <laughs> Does it actually say I'm on easy? Where would it say that? You actually had me worried then that I'd ruined my hard mood. I don't even know if this game has achievements for beating it on hard mood. Well, the SSD didn't do shit. We have two spaces and I believe it's two cloaks that are unknown but we now know how to fly a broom i still don't think it's that simple on i'd like to get a stop sprinting oh don't tell me they've broken this in the last update i want to walk i swear i wasn't even going to plug I've in i've not forgotten about our library venture how did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. I wasn't even going to plug in a controller for the flying 
But if they've killed my walk ability to walk, I'm plugging in a controller. Speed toggle is on, caps lock is walk. So why can't I? I'm not in an instant. Good day to you. I required assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. There. Oh, I was walking, then I jogged. I swear this SSD is making this one worse. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. <sighs> oh my word, come on. I have to disagree, Warlock. You wrote frames per second. I'm at frames per minute. If it runs this bad, I'm going to actually have to move it back to the hard drive just to test morbid curiosity that it can't get any worse. Where is my walk key? I swear, if I have to down patch this game... If I have to down patch this game to get my walk function back, I will. It has never forced me to sprint anywhere outside of missions before. I could walk anywhere in the world. Caps Lock is meant to take me down to a walk, and it's not. I will down patch this game. I don't even know if I could be bothered learning a controller. I'll reload if it's still doing it. I'll try walking into the school if it's still doing it. I'll probably just close stream and down patch the game. It was a bug. Look at that. That's more sensible. Just walking. Now I actually get to compare how the game loads because with an SSD I'm hoping that at walking speed the game can keep up because on hard drive it kind of doesn't. Speaking of, we do have a walkway here actually. Speaking of what? Talking about performance, then I thought about X. I was talking about performance, and then my brain jumped to access to the school. And then I said out loud, speaking of, like I'd said anything about entering school grounds. But I do need to figure out what we're doing next. I think the next quest is going to be going to Potions, Guy, and Hogsmeade. But I want to double check we don't have any assignments here. Bastion also talked to us. Yes. Oh! That was the very next mission, is the rumor, uh, rumor requirement. Oh, the butterflies, demanding delivery was the one we got in Hogsmeade. Wow, I've done more of those on my you know, Hufflepuff character than I've done on my Quidditch character. What are they called? Reddit door. 
at Nomidor. What fuck? What's the actual name? G Griffith, Gryffindor. There you go. But all I could remember was door, apparently. Room of requirement. In the shadow of the undercroft. At his usual spot. Good thing I know where his usual spot is now. But I think we're going to go meet with Professor Weasley. When you play this game, you're going to be a Hufflepuff who uses dark magic. My current playthrough is meant to be a renegade run. But I haven't really had the chance to be evil yet. Ah! Hottie! I really do enjoy how the game seems to be running worse on SSD. In fact... Why? Okay, now I really want to know why an SSD is loading assets slower. I'll look, I'll flip it. I'll try it for a couple of times. It's the first time I've ran it on the SSD. Let's at least give it room to breathe, shall we? Oh, also I don't even know if I've done with my collections here. It's stuttering worse Rebellion. too. Oh no. There's nothing that close. Ah. Is that really hitting before that? Revelio. Alright, well apparently there's nothing here. You will be the hustle puff. I think I ended up just playing my Hufflepuff as a fairly standard character. It was more just to scratch the itch of playing the game off stream than anything. I'm not doing anything special with them. Alright. And. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such thing as a Uh, Sebastian is up here, but what was the other place we were going to look at? Off on another adventure, are we? Uh, probably down in the Slytherin dungeons, isn't it? I'm sorry, in your usual spot? Sebastian. I know your usual spot. We're not there. It's good, black children are too young to attend Hogsmeade. Well, that's kind of annoying, because his usual spot is that photo. got better. It's, okay, it's still screen space. Look at it crop out the lighting as I close the top of the window. Actually, no. That's still reflecting. I don't have RTX capabilities. So why do I not have screen space reflections anymore? Ray tracing isn't on. They've changed how the reflections work. They look way better, to be fair. And as far as I can tell, maybe a minor performance hit? Where did the cat go? You still sound like a demon. I'm not allowed to pet you. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Yeah, you still sound like a demon. So it's like half screen space reflections. But the screen space reflections are high detailed. And then there's a low detail gloss filter that seems to be applied as well. Like a... I don't know if global illumination would work like that. I feel like they've definitely done something to the lighting, though. It'd just be me having not played the game in a few days. But also, Sebastian. You're not at your usual spot. I don't see you anywhere. Actually, there is a second spot that is his usual. But it's not story related. The photo was a story related mission start point for him. But he lurks in Professor Fig's office. I don't know if Professor Fig keeps handing him detention or not, but. So I got to just blast books like this. Those ones are immune. Sadly, even if I do find Sebastian in this room, the quest marker probably won't move with him. Plus Mark will probably be at whatever he thinks, of whatever the developers think his usual location is. Which apparently the developers got wrong. He spends his days in Professor Fig's office. Actually, I think it's afternoons in Professor Fig's office. And then normally he hangs out by that painting in the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. If I ever do see him. Unless he's upstairs in the common room. Let's we check the classroom. Do you have any assignments for us? Professor Sharp has given us the assignment of using a focus potion and a maxima and erudus at the same time. He's not here. Is he ever by the cup of tea? No. What a lovely cup of tea. We can go up. Maybe. Did we check? He's not there. We'll check the common room. I genuinely don't know. The quest straight up says at his usual spot. Ooh, so why is the SSD actually running the game worse? I'm kind of annoyed by the fact I'm seeing super unloaded textures on the SSD at all. Italians and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. Oh yeah! I can finally show you how to open the math door, Sparkle. I can appreciate Hogsmeade all year round, but there's nothing like it after a fresh snowfall. 
The last time I was <laughs> Madam Green had everything from <laughs> Well, he's not here. Two cats. No Sebastian. Frankly, I'd rather live in next to this box. At this point, we've got the actual astrology class up here, and that's about it. We can't go any lower. Drink oh, and that's safe. Oh, drink only water and milk. Else your bones will be weak. Like Sebastian has straight oh, up his own health lives. is fucked. Oh, bitch. oh yeah, drink. okay, your water usual drink. spot water is in front of the water ballerina drink. trolls. Water, bitch. Oh, drink. Okay. water, drink. 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 I am gonna go find the last math door I think I haven't solved on my stream character. Da, 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 da. I just have to get to the Great Hall, if I remember correctly. That's to the Transfiguration Courtyard. This should be to the front entrance, but I'm pretty sure that's to the main front entrance. Uh, Great Hall. Could actually be across the Transfiguration Courtyard. Even the doors take longer to load. I am moving this game back to hard drive. Look at the ground! It's still, we crossed the whole bridge and it still hasn't loaded in the ground. We're about to leave the area and it still hasn't loaded in the ground. SSD has failed me, wow. Still hasn't loaded in this area and we're about to enter the next. Get a grip. What's all the fuss about SSDs and they can't even load as fast as a performance hard drive? actually unironically is not loading as fast as a performance hard drive. That should be no competition. It should be 10 times the speed and I'm just staring at unloaded assets. Maybe it's a quirk. Maybe the game knows it's an SSD so it tries to load more stuff. Who knows. Oh so I got distracted. How much room do I have left in my SSD? Technically it's empty except for this game. Oh yeah, the door loading was there for me too. But it's taken twice as long since I moved the game to the SSD. And we got on the other side of the door and all the assets were unloaded. I am moving this back the first chance I get, holy cow. Unless it clears itself up. I'll give it another chance. I'll let it settle in. Brilliant. But at this point, it's running worse. We're moving back. Could be the patch too, who knows? Alright, so the faculty tower is over there. Is this the main hall? No. Pretty sure that's the Ravenclaw Tower over there. The Faculty Tower should be this way. Look at that door! The texture popping was never this bad on my performance hard drive. What is all the hype about SSDs? I know they literally aren't meant to run like this. Oh, this is terrible. At least the ground loaded in this time. Look at that! So this is the Slytherin dungeon. Um, the other end of the Slytherin dungeon takes me to the main hall. So, look, I will say I am kind of taking the piss. I'm sure literally any other video game would be running infinitely better on an SSD, but for some reason the load problems on this game 
I'm like marishly terrible. The SSD for some reason seems to be amplifying the issue and I don't know why. Oh uh, no, this is the Hufflepuff Tower. Oh, is it? Is this Central Tower or Hufflepuff Tower? Okay, this is tower I don't know about. The front entrance? Oh, I was right. I'm sorry? Buzz? Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Sure, give me a sec. Right, come back. I do know that the Hufflepuff Tower does somehow connect to the Slytherin dungeon. Somehow. I've managed to get myself from the Hufflepuff dormitory to the Slytherin dungeon, but I just forget the exact route. Hey Jason, welcome in. I would imagine that heat would affect an SSD less than a hard drive, right? Oh, heat on a hard drive is permanently damaging once you reach the point where it's a problem. Whereas on an SSD, maybe it is just a performance issue when it slows down read write speeds or something. Do you own the game, Hufflepuff? Uh, Huffle Good fucks. Jesus. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Hufflepuff Origins. Were you calling me, Gareth? Warlock Puff? I was. After you helped me with that Fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Shouldn't you be studying? Where do you find the time for this and your homework? I've plenty of time for both. Been managing for years. Yeah. So, I suspect the key ingredient so. in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Okay, so I can be objectively evil and steal a thing. Or I can make him dislike me, even though I know it doesn't work. We're going to be objectively evil and do shady things. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I don't want to talk about We're not going to do the legal I'll see route. what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can yeah. convince some meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Hey, right. So. Oop. Good lord, I've never had I'll that to load before. I'll need to get those stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Perhaps you will, yes. Yeah, so well, you... one-eyed witch no statue that. shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, it's just generic dialogue. So. The, uh... Ooh, shining. The last door I haven't opened. The only one left I have access to without Alohomora. And here you go. I'm gonna solve it on stream so you can see how they work. Is this different? Oh my lord, are they different? Are they randomly generated every time you start a game? Uh, 
All right, so I think that... What's the one down the bottom? Oh, that one's easy. The top one is wrong. Uh, where's it is? And there you go, it's that simple. I'm sure that explains absolutely everything on how to solve the math doors. I hope that was very insightful. <laughs> the tables are all cleared. Oh, it must be past curfew. I have never seen the tables in the- oh my lord. Why? This game used to run kind of okay. I just heard an explosion. Oop, and- no, one more. And... a little late. Oh, there you go! You saw me solve the last door. I missed the key. Come on. And click. No. Come on. No. One more. Oh, stop teasing. Look, that's what you get for teasing. Nice. It's the owl. I love that there's a physical perch here, but there's a painting of an owl. Brown owl or a barn owl, I'm not sure many other breeds of owl that I just don't know. I've been here before. I don't know what the purpose is. Besides that chest, I think there might be a mission up here sometime. Ooh! I have more pages on my other character too. I'm slacking on this character. I have less Dedalian keys. I have less pages. Buy one to be fair and I'm pretty sure 39 is the max you can get without Alohomora. I am almost certain you need a Lohamora to get the other 11 pages. Revenia. But there are a couple of locations I haven't been with this character since. What is that? I saw a sparkle here. Never mind, must have been an old Dalian key. I can give you a hint with the doors if you really want while we hear Sparkle. I can give you a very helpful hint or a not very helpful Valia. hint actually. But The symbols are visually distinct in one aspect. They can all be counted. I have never seen the central staircase floor look this bad. This is actually kind of very sad. I want to give it a go. I really do want to just hope that the next time I run the game it actually when works well. The 
betrayal will turn the tides of war. I don't have any brothers. Is that you, Charlie Sheen? Yo! Charlie Sheen! Very politely dressed Charlie Sheen. Another key. Well, what the door wants is a missing number. Another key, but where? Ah. Hello. Actually, need to know where you're going. Straight down, apparently. Good lord. So easy. Mm. Oh, you cheeky bastard. Hey, you get another slap for that. Keep searching for the doors. This there... looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Right. We're not doing that. But if you keep searching for the math doors, there is one of them that has straight up just tells you. There's a blackboard that shows you how to solve it, and there's a piece of paper that gives you the answer, basically. Alien keys do we have? Seven more to go. Don't tell me you Google it though. Googling is cheating. Don't go through the wall. No, that's out of bounds. Oh, they're fine. There's another room there. They, they did just disappear, though. Oh, no, there they are. Alright, what are we actually doing? Not the Dalian keys. Purchase a broom. Are we even allowed to? That's another Hogsmeade quest. That's another Hogsmeade quest. This one's North Hogsfield. That one is also North Hogsfield, annoyingly. I don't want to go back there because this guy tells you the same dialogue every time. I've already done that, but then I got a quest to do it again. Professor Sharp's assignment would be nice if I went out and got myself in a bit of trouble. Weasley. I'm going to go down to the Slytherin dungeon. And we're going to talk with Professor Weasley. I have a hunch that's where I need to go at least. Leather and dungeon. <laughs> now, I get where down here has the door.
That's the door I'm thinking. But that's not the Rebellion. door. Is that all there before? There's another math door down there too. And these rooms are all aloha more locked. Although I found out, while you can aloha more of some locks, some can't be. This one doesn't have a prompt, and though it is locked, because the ones that don't have prompts unlock when you get to a certain point in the story. Probably usually means that you're going to come out of that area after doing a certain quest. Look. Book is immune. Why is Book immune? Incendio. Books is straight up immune. I don't like those books. Alright, well I'm not meant to be here apparently. That was my best educated guess as to where the rumour requirement would be. What would be my next best guess? I don't know many other forbidden holloways. Forbidden? I just don't know many other holloways that look like they'd have an, an entrance like that. It's so sad seeing an SSD struggle to load the game like this. We could try up the faculty tower. Yeah, okay. Nice view. That just straight up isn't loading the library. Or anything in front of it for that matter. And the dragon is two pixels. There's a lantern in front of the dragon. Which is still two pixels. This is abysmal. I am blown away by the fact I put the game on an SSD. And it can't load in quicker than on my performance hard drive. I have already waited a decade for SSDs to mature as technology, and this is what I'm getting. I Look, I know I have to blame the game and not the SSD. The SSD is probably doing fine, but it's just making the symptoms worse, and I don't know why. I'm going to move it off after the stream and put it back on my performance drive. You know what I think it- I, I, look, this doesn't even make sense either. I was gonna say, maybe it is because the game is stored on an SSD, it's putting less assets into memory. But even that doesn't make sense, because it's still an SSD! It should be loading quicker than this! What's the excuse? Where's the logic behind this? Taking actual minutes to load in? I don't get it. It's fine. I'll fix it. Look, it, the whole game just looks like trash. <laughs> I hope people don't mind two pixel textures, because that's what we're going to be having all of today, apparently. Um, Astrology Tower. I'm going to talk with Sebastian. After that... I'm not sure. I'm kind of hoping Sebastian gives me a little more. But I think he just wants to catch up. I'm not actually sure what the intent of the quest is. That's a fair point. <sighs> but this is a coping mechanism is a bit much. There's an ant on my desk. Get off. Get off. Squish. I don't like living with it. I spent eight years with cockroaches. I am not getting ants my first year in the new place. <gasps> that was an Abra. I like Abra. Abra has a spoon. Revelia. 
Fire at a twinkle. It's all the way at the top of the tower, which probably needs Handy another homeowner. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Shh. I'm so pleased to be included. Revelio. Back. The opera has the spoon. Was the opera that has the pendulum? Professor Weasley. Away from prying eyes. This isn't even the Sebastian questline. This is the Weasley questline. I found it. Why is the room of requirement so high up? I know it's all illusory, but that door leads to outside in the physical world. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me, and I. Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. And thank you for the hydrate and the coloring. Oh, that's a new loaded screen scene. What is this place? Oh, drink, oh, empty, oh, drink, oh, water, milk. Don't be weak. Like the Skyrim. Oh, water is healthy, but fit. You better drink water, drink water, drink water, drink water, bit. Oh, drink water, drink water, drink water, bit. Oh, drink water, drink water, drink water, bit. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. I was thirsty. Time to get back to your things, see you next time. Well, thank you for coming in, Jason. I hope you have a lovely day. We have three different button prompts for this. Wow. See, Daisy. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Oop. Oop. Let me also. Oops. Excellent work. I have 406 Moonstone. I'm gonna try my best not to spend all of it once we get to the other end of this quest. Yes. Are all the books here immune? Where in Merlin's name is that elf? I'm in Nightmare. All of the books are immune. Yes. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Up, 
ba, 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 ba. mirror looks important. No, but there is a cup of tea here. Nothing of interest there. Oh, of course. Leviosa. So upset. You crouch so elegant at this. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder. Those books just straight up wobble. That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Oh. That is kind of like a set piece. Is the joke that it's a portal potty instead of a porter potty? I don't even know that it's a potty. An outhouse, I suppose. Another? Oh. Just in case. It offended the room thought I needed a bath. Red. Oh, paper lanterns. Is there anything to do here? No, by the looks of it. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Something over there of note. All of this old luggage is quite gorgeous, though. Hmm. So? I think I know how this works. And then... A golden snitch. I guess so. The Dalian keys don't move like that. Uh, 
Look. I hope that house elf can find us in here. And the door close on you? Like, is there a way to be trapped in the room of requirement? As we've moved a fair way through this place. Ominous glow. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking uh, for apologies, you. Apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. I thought the room decided what we needed. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. How's the Twitch stream? Ah, I want. How's the Twitch stream holding up? Better than the texture streaming, I hope. Like. I wonder if those things level to my. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. What are you clicking? Just snapping something into existence. Wrong spell kit. Can't get rid of that. Alright, it's time to start putting some pot plants down. Get rid of that, get rid of that. By the way, mm. do you happen to know what the fine is here in Cyrodiil for criminal scum? Just asking. Alright. Well. Oh, get rid of that. 
You know what? We'll leave the paintings. Can I put that when I mirror back the there? I desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts mm -hmm. are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have <laughs> enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Kinda sad that this is spoilers considering it's like the fourth mission in the story. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. <laughs> I... Oh, I don't think I'm to blame for that. Why is that? Levioso is a control spell, and Guardium Levioso is a utility spell. Hmm, I know why, but... Weird. That'll be fine though. Levioso on two, Wingardium on two, that'll work out. Um summon of Repair. Do you like the marble? Stick with this for now. completely baffling that I have somehow spent 60 hours in this game not doing story quests and I'm still in spoiler territory. What did I manage? Was it this one? No. I'm not allowed to put anything there. Oh, that's not even a mirror. Interation budget. We 
have a huge table. Flipper statue. Bunch of random stuff. I don't know what mirror I got rid of, but I think I regret that now. I got one of those too. It's a diagram. Re illustration. East diagram. Look the mirrors. Seasonal decorations. Do I just not have a mirror? Full hangings. No? Apparently I don't have a mirror. I thought this was a mirror. Furniture? No. Well, I have lost my mirror. But at least I've got a poop machine. Sorry, what am I meant to be doing? Oh, potting table. Got it. Control is not disabling snapping. Control is not disabling snapping at all. Oh. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not oh, underestimate uh... his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Is Deke? Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Sure. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Yes. Poop. That is the tiniest bag of poop out of that giant poop machine. Alright. We don't have any flux weed. I need a potions. No, I need a herbology table. Alright. Eek. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items or hundred of the stuff. Or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. 
Is 400 not enough? Or is this just generic dialogue? I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Okay, it's Good. just generic. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Ooh. <gasps> My mirror! Yeah. It's rather big. Apparently that was a once-off placement. It won't let me anymore. Is this currently occupied in the moment I get there? And that's way too small. Was absolutely that size, but it looks like the painting was placed there after the mirror. So, is it just not allowed to go there? Oh, it can go there. Fine. Little bra paintings. More. 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 You know what? Now let's. It's a longer. This with paintings. So. There must be a pixel perfect way. Selected space is currently occupied. By what? The table? I guess so. Professor, I have some questions about conjuration. Yes? I don't have any questions after all. There are so many choices. What items do you think I should conjure? I shall leave that entirely up to you. This is your space after all. I will say that a simple addition such as a wall hanging or a portrait might make the space feel unique. Okay. I think I can manage from here. Thank oh, you. I look forward up. to seeing your work. Did I do good? Professor, I have some questions about conjuration. I did yes. not do good. Actually, I don't think I have any questions. I'm here if you do. do I just have to put a lot of them up? That flashing blue. Okay, let's put down a rock. Chair. Table. Another table. Can I put the table on the table? That would be quite nice. Um. Wool hanging. Back again. And you? For a grand reopening, oh. I assume. Boardroom, 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 boardroom. Forget he's there. Good work. Shall we move on? 
shell. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. And thank you for the subscription, Tony. How are you doing this morning? Or I suppose this evening? Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Ooh. Blue table. I need blue table. Did I do good? I have some questions about alteration, Professor. Yes? Oh. How do I use the altering spell? Simply aim your wand at a conjured item that you would like to customize and cast the altering spell as I showed you. You can change an item's appearance in a number of ways, as well as move the item around the room. Thank you, Professor. I have no more questions. I'll be here if you need anything else. You're coming with me, table. Oh, bye. Table gone. Ooh. Ah. Oof. Die. My eyes. It hurts. I haven't even got to that part yet. What was I meant to do? I do need this thing. I need to do. I have some questions. Hey, Satan, welcome in. Oh, my poop is ready. Um, I don't know what I'm meant to do. Where's that mirror? better. Back there. And paintings. It was you that was up there, right? Yeah, everything back the way it should be. The painting well, the mirror is probably a little lower than it was, but that works. I'm actually gonna have to, okay, we don't need to turn on the HUD, but I can just peek. What am I doing? Oh, to the style of an item. Oh, 
specifically one of these things then. Yeah, because I can go botanical, eclectic, or gothic. Nicely done. Right. You're ready for something a little Not just more colors. Advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try the floor of that balcony using the altering spell. Hmm? Oh, hold to apply to room or just click to apply to. Is that meant to happen? Hey! Oh! Is she meant to have a head? Um... Oh, I'm the druid one. Ow. Okay, so you can just apply it. Okay, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the gothic base and tweak from there. I haven't done anything but leave the game open, Warlock. And to that effect, I don't know if the SSD is still going to be a detriment. Oh, what's going on? And what the hell? There we go. No? Obviously, it didn't work. Did I break it? Eek? Weasley? Oop machine? broken something. Oh, to the balcony or floor. Specifically the balcony or the floor. No. My mistake. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deek, would you there mind? There we go. Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deek this bit of magic some years ago. Deek thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Some of the botanical stuff is actually quite nice. Although... We do get to change the colour. Professor I'll stick with I the SSD for now, but if the texture streaming is still worse uh, next time I play... Sort of overall because I've been sat on this spot for maybe you. 40 minutes now. There's a fair chance that once we leave, it could just gutter again. But it should be running better than when I started the game up. As for... I did... Sorry, Satan. I did try the... Um, the settings you suggested. Try linear optimization, or is it threaded optimization? Is now set to single core, or off. It's not optimizing outside of the game's internal scope. And I did the other NVIDIA tweak as well. And moved it to the SSD. But I think a weird quirk of the issues with the game is making... The SSD seems to be making the textures load slower. Which doesn't make sense to me. It could have just been the fact that I've opened this game five hours into stream instead of starting with it though. Mm, I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. I'll keep to it, though. Oh, sounds perfect. I won't know for certain if it runs better or worse until I have committed a couple of streams to it with the new settings. Because it could also be the threaded optimization is the reason that the textures mm. are loading worse, not Quite the SSD the at all. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Hey. 
Okay. Bye. Oh, that's right. That's why you don't want to spend an hour in the first bit, because you get an extra room. Professor Garlic? I have. No. Wait. Potions teacher? Oh, look. I didn't know you felt that way about Professor Sharp. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Professor Sharp's got a bit more of a uh, Snape vibe, if you ask me. I really want to change these bookshelves. Apparently the bookshelves have to stay. Not the colour, at least. Can I set the colour to all factors of the building? Oh, thank you. That's so much better. It didn't affect that, though. Yeesh. Oh! It applies to all alcoves. It's piece by piece. <laughs> like Poison Ivy, the villain, not the plant. How do I get these drapes to not be green, then? Is that this thing? I actually have an assignment from Professor... not Snape, um, Sharp. Gotta drink a bunch of his potions. So... Oof. Eesh. Eesh. Nice that you can edit tiny parts of the room in places, though. Alright. Oh, more poop. Hello. Before we do leave, I need... I have more furniture now. Dresses. Gold Herbology Trophy. What did I do? Reflecting excellent work. What did I do? I don't remember doing anything in Herbology worth note. Let's go trim on this the stand. Tiny little trophy. I need to put down pots. So potions, herbology. I need massive is this? I can't change the size of this one. We got botanical, eclectic. I don't mind the gothic one. I'm going to have to find a way to fit this though, because this is not going to at all. 
that's just a straight up exit. This is not going to fit anywhere. Let's have a look. We've got that, right? Scientific central floor. Ooh! So we got stone, wood, marble, and tiled. Marbled. It's a bookshelf. I'll leave it then. That tiny little trophy. Apparently can't get any closer than that. It's just going to have to sit there. And while I... Potting table budget, one of seven conjured. Potting table with five small pots. Wait. I have multiple. Wait. Just have multiple. There is a massive area here that I get to mess with, but okay, I don't think I need that many. But who am I to argue? Desk of description isn't going to fit there, is it? No. I really would like for that to move or go away, but I know it's not going to. It's so in the way though. Like, this table right here could be used. There is no reason not to use it. And the clipping space there is so terrible. We do that though, we can put decorations behind them. Now, before I leave, small, okay, so we've got small, three small, Five small. I don't have any medium. I don't have any large. Composter. I, I beg your pardon? Sad.
fish in there? No. Ash do. So... Watching table with five small pots, three small pots, one poster, and the chopping station. And you're telling me my my waste of money, or even more so now, on the large potting table is completely gone. I don't even know how I'd use the track that. I swear there was a section where I could list and see all of my... All of my stuff that I'd bought. me so much money and I don't even have it. It's annoying because Fluxweed needs a large plant. But hey. Actually, you know what? No. I do two mandrakes here on the end. For some reason my notification didn't appear. How are you doing? Oh, I do want Mallow's sweet though. The other three could be Mallow. Itany, two of. And the rest is not grass here. Oh, I actually think I might have figured out what I went wrong with, too. I think... I think what I got wrong... ...was the fact that I bought the ingredients and perhaps not... ...the table. The seeds. No? I mean, I do. I have all the seeds. Maybe. Oh, kind of annoyed. Um, we got a whole extra room and I've locked it off. Oh, hey! It's quite nice. Quite spacious, too. Alright. That's enough messing about. We'll drop down a manual save while we're here. Let's back out we go. How was your stream, Tim? What did you end up getting up to today?
Hey. I do wish the loading screens weren't so dead quiet. Hey, so Warlock, you wanted to go see the potions teacher? We can go see the potions master. I'm not allowed to move. There we go. Well, textures still aren't loading in. Revelio. A whole secret area right there. Yeah. So, it would be infinitely easier to test threaded optimization on than it would be to move the game back to a standard hard drive and find out that that didn't help or hinder it at all. I want to keep the SSD because there's no reason the SSD should negatively affect load times, but it seems like it might be. Is there an in-game option, or...? No. Oh! I didn't turn that on. Hey, there we go. Apparently depth of field impacts GPU. Alright, we'll try that. Off to see the potions, Professor. Uh-oh, game not loading. Stinky. Oh, it loaded though. Look at that. What are you doing up past curfew? Although I think it's been well established that Hogwarts doesn't have a curfew at this point. That's creepy. Give it a second, we might be able to tell what it says. No, sadly it's kind of gibberish even when it loaded in there. Hello? Sebastian, are you hiding in Professor Fig's classroom? God, they look so bad. I kind of hope it might just be threaded optimization. <laughs> Sebastian's not here. So many ghosts at night. Place I haven't looked. It's on the bottom floor. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. In your usual spot. Okay. If that is Sebastian, that's still not his usual spot. It's a floor lower. I'm surprised I missed that. <laughs> Uh, potions, potions, potions. Potions, 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 potions. How do I get to potion? 
With the game loading this slowly, I have to be really careful walking through doorways. <clears throat> if the game doesn't load the next area in physically, I fall outside of the map and have to reload my last save. Oh, did I leave scuffed on? I don't remember leaving scuffed on. I want OBS. Was it actually... Huh. They've gone out of sync again. They're meant to be the same thing. Where is my scuffed? And then off is what it's meant to look like. <sighs> I might have to turn the out of optimization back on because I'm saying we're running too fast at the moment. I really, really want to try and hold out that the SSD is not been giving me grief right now. Is this locked? No. <laughs> no! Ah, almost thought they were immune for a second there. Another Dedalian key. We'll come right here. I'll meet you there. Too late. Are you cheeky? Come on then. Yes. That's number ten. Six more to go. Oh! Five more to go. First visit the psychiatrist. Already taken away antidepressant pills, put you on antipsychotic. I mean, you did say he was in... Tense. Do you think that's a bit much for the first session? One session, he's already got you a prescription. Seems... Rash? I don't know, I'm not a psychiatrist. But... I hope he's not... going to mistreat you or anything. God, these textures look so bad. Achoo! <coughs> oh look, I've lost the potions class. Oh look, I found the potions class. I 
game what are you first. Now? Was it two pictures oh. of Angelica or three? Revelia. See? Aldrin's. You make potions in Aldrin's. More Aldrin's. This must be potions class. Potions professor. There you are. Our oh, warlock's been saying such nice things about you too. Games locked up. Sir, why do I need to complete these tasks again? Professor Weasley has ah! asked oh, that we all contribute extra time to help you <laughs> catch up to your peers. And before I teach oh, you to pulse, my... I must oh. know that you are prepared to handle it. Okay. <clears throat> ah. So focus potion i don't have focus potion it's a brew one which is flux weed which i need a large pot for which i thought i'd purchased but we're going to hogsmeade oh i can look her more in his office nice lady with the green hat i I had a clicked early on you meant the herbology teacher. Off on another adventure, are we? Herbology teacher is at the other end of the Great Hall here. I don't actually, is this the Great? This isn't the Great Hall, but this is a foyer of some kind. Speaking of, do you have a plant growing down here? Oh. I say that like my plants in my own house haven't finished growing at this point. Aim running at two FPS. Excuse you. Where's my plant gone? Thank you very much. I know I put mallow sweet in there. Do I have any assignments to get? Since I am here. I can't even talk to her. I straight up can't even use the... Oh, there's protections against using these spells. Of course I can't use it. Oh, no, that's not even the right... Is this one I wanted? No, that's broken. 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 Hmm. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I don't know. I'm naturally skeptic. I blame my parents for that, but. When it comes to, especially a psychiatrist as an authority figure, yes, he does have training in these things, but May I it's always I did not raise you to break worrying the when they're that the quick to come have to a conclusion. Well, medication all has side effects, but there's also intended and unintended side effects. And I'm sure... I'm sure it's past regulation isn't going to do anything bad, but... That is still a massive leap, though. I just... Skepticism aside, I hope he does have... Your best interests in mind. Look at these lovely textures that are definitely loading off of an SSD. Aren't they great? Look at the staircase. I love when the staircase doesn't have the polygons. Sometimes you can fight with this is ridiculous. Huh. Ha! You should be more careful! Huh. 
Um, I need to get somewhere. Not there. I don't even know if we're ever going to have a class in there. I think this is where I went to get to the Slytherin dungeon. No, I had to leave. This is a dead end unless you have a Lohamora. I've actually been on both ends of uh, psychiatrists both being non-effective and quick to... Quick to give summations. There was a psychiatrist who I did trust and was very high up. Lost a lot of money. Um, who peed? But they challenged me very little. Like, there was very. There wasn't very much of him probing. He just sort of asked a few questions and went, Yeah, you're probably right. And I kid you not. This part was actually probably the most annoying, was that he wrote on a piece of paper what effectively, in non-doctor speak, translated to, I think it's true, so I'm going to agree. Like me. But the piece of paper basically said, patient thinks they have this, I'm not going to argue. And that annoyed me so much. It wasn't his decision, like, he didn't say, I think this is true, it was like self- it basically said self-diagnosed, because I- or like self-convinced or something. I forget the term he wrote, but it annoyed me for years. Not so much anymore, because I'd moved past that chapter of my life. And I went on to a different psychologist years and years later, who had the exact opposite effect, where I met them for 20 different sessions and they never wrote shit except true thought clouds. So... Really is hard, having played or been on been on the playing field of both angles to know especially when they are the professional it's like how do you know that first guy it's just weird because it then despite the fact that what they wrote annoyed me because it basically came to no conclusion of his own and just had the piece of paper said i agree that was it that annoyed me like to no end. I guess it still kind of does, then now that I brought it back up, I won't drop it, but... Hello again. Were you able to get the honeydew? I don't know. Because even then, despite what he wrote, and despite the fact he really didn't challenge me you on anything... You should consider carrying a protection charge. He did at least see me for like six months before coming to any conclusion like that. But I am lost. Where is the witch? Story down, I believe. No, right here. Descendium. This was all down here. I suppose that's the curse of it all, though. Every different professional is going to have their own, even personal experiences. They're going to change how they interact and help their customers. Ask quite a few questions, a trying to get you know you in some way to get down the straight. Looks broken though. Repair it. I 
I suppose if my story does mean done anything, trick. just make sure you're not convincing yourself that he's right just because you think it should be, or that you agree. Because that was almost verbatim the situation I put myself in. I went there thinking I was going to get a diagnosis. And when the piece of paper that I got at the end said, I agree with my client, I, I didn't want it anymore. Weirdly enough, I wanted to just ignore it. I was so annoying. Because that's not what I went there for him to tell me that I was right or wrong, not to say the client is, you know, like, don't go into it with an expectation. As much as an open mind to perhaps, I don't know, break down a couple of barriers, see what conclusions he can find. Made you notice it too, even though you knew about it already. That's a bit different, I suppose, because I did go into my situation with a couple of presuppositions. What is interesting, though, is... Despite going to one of the more higher paid psychiatrists to get a piece of paper with a scribble on it, I never actually got any formal diagnosis. This castle will never cease to surprise me. But wouldn't that be the worst if it was all just a practical joke he had? I mean, he's the psychiatrist. He would know how to get in people's minds, right? Do you think he knows what he was doing? I'm thinking too much into this now. But... I mean, it's not on my medical record. Repair it. Incendio. I think it's fairly... I, I, it's, medical stuff is so weird, because if you even say certain things, you get cancelled. Look, if Predator can say autism is a superpower, so can I. I can fly. But... It still feels taboo. I suppose I've never really liked the idea of, like, advertising. Negative aspects, either. How am I supposed to get out of here? I'm trapped in these frames! And in the ability to not shut up. Mm. No frames. Alright. I hope you get some good help, though. I'm going to have to get past this. Oh. Repair it. Gladioso. You can do there you go. Incendio. to go and I'll make it across. Here. Let me open. Oh. Repair it. <sighs> Let me open. Aha. Got it. <sighs> Alright. Well. This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. No. Oh no. Hello. Who are you? It's 
certain levels of autism do seem like superpowers. I suppose that depends on what they're used for. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey juice. Is there gold? Gold. Gold. Money. And now we leave. You know the solution to your problems? Just can't make yourself follow the solutions. Not that problem with motivation. Completely different thing. I know what I need to do to fix a lot of aspects of my uh, professional life. And I don't. Get ready early is one of my biggest problems. Just get ready early, then sit down and procrastinate until you have to leave. Because the problem I have normally is that I'll procrastinate until I have to leave, then get ready, which makes me late. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. If I get ready early and then procrastinate until I have to leave, I save myself now, the time where would wasted. Where I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Getting ready late. the dry sting. billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Uh, I usually walk past the owner. on a bicycle. That's an eagle. Does that mean there's more? Okay, I found my favorite candy in this store. Ah, life is messy sometimes. Gareth, what else do we need to do in Hogsmeade? Buy furniture. Ow, not a page. That's a watering can, not a page. A quill shop. I don't think I need anything here. Ooh. I think I need something here. Uh, two more pages left in Hogsmeade, and I wonder how many of them are going to be behind locked doors. Eh? 
If I had my frames, I might be able to tell what's beeping. in the main street as you walk into town, right? It's an owl, not a broom. Oleanders... Ole Oleanders? Nothing's loading! Okay. Maybe I save and quit. And I turn on... Oh. Revelio. I turn on threaded optimization and see if that gets my texture streaming back because at the moment we got cauldrons, we got Oh, this is where I get my furniture from. Hello. Oh, I'll be right back. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Never mind, I've already got your trunk. Just need. The game is a hundred gigabytes. It's about ninety one, I think. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Have you seen the guy who can draw anything he sees with photographic memory? And accuracy. I haven't. Wait, why am I poor? Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I still want to know where my other recipes went. Five is the best. Locked and worse. Currently wearing 67. I guess when you research them, they actually are leveled to your current level, which is good. Right. Ermy Raggedy Leather Coat. You have one of these, isn't it? I also do. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Beast feeder, beast toy box, hopping pot. Unlocks the ability to conjure a hopping pot. Type a magical little pot will periodically brew a randomly selected potion. Material refiner, potting table with large pot. Potting table with two large pots. So I own potting table with three large pots then. Medium pot, two medium pots, three medium pots. Medium potion station and T-shaped potion station. There is a three large pots one, right? Cost 5,000? Let me know if so where are my money went? I can do to help. I am certain of it. How do I find the recipes I own? Destroy? No! Beast quests, notes, resources. So that's the consumables. Enemies, appearances, rebellion, pains. The 
It's like they straight up have just disappeared. So there's... There's 12 things there. Does he even have 12 things for sale? Have I kind of locked myself from getting the... Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look How many at do you here. have for sale? Mm. I swear. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. If the game has wiped my three large pots or whatever it is I bought, I should have more than just small pots to conjure. It's where my money went. Why? Where's the broom man? All the way here. Finger and blotch. We want to go to. Do I know Confringo? Repairer. No, I know Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Incendio. But I saw an interactable there. That's flutes and lutes. I'm gonna have to do something because this is terrible staring at stuff like this. Dervish and Banks. I'm not seeing any other pages Revenue. around here, though. I'm just trying to practice. I'm sure. So... I know I spent a lot on ingredients and recipes. But I am certain I should have something larger than a small... A small herbology pot. What is this? Potions man. He needs to talk to me too. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. What so, can I do for you today? I bought all of this guy's recipes. He doesn't have any left. Oh wow. Pretty decision. sure. Thank you. These were mostly just potion recipes though. There's only six potion recipes total, right? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Pavelio. Maybe I'm not missing anything, because I, I do have the table with five tiny pots. And perhaps I didn't know what a large pot actually... Greetings! Please, take your time looking about. But there are nine things... That, there are nine things to unlock. And eight to buy. So I am missing one, I just don't know where it is. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Out of money. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Oh. I might have to just save and quit real quick. Well, is that unlocked? No, it's padlock. But quick save and exit while I switch back on threaded optimization and pray that I get to play the game a bit Hulk smoother. Smooth, here I come. Perhaps maybe not even a little smoother. Just without the bare minimum of what qualifies for a texture would be nice. It's right well, here, isn't it? There we go. There's another one over there. I 
Everything is taking so long to load. Pages to go. Only a hairy hearted sod would cast Lependo on a cow. Ah. There's an achievement for that. It's a rather Wasn't nice garden. Good, honest work, but I shall leave it to the muggles. Revelio. Four pages left. Oxmead Community Garden. I'm gonna have to start admitting that I don't actually know where the broom guy is. I swear he's on the main street along here. But we got to the end of the street and it was flutes and lutes. What's more powerful than the dark arts? Not even love, I reckon. And here we get to the town square. I could find him on the map, but I am being stubborn. Steeply and Sons is just a cafe, right? That's down there. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revenia. Nothing in here. have this one but it glows why There is something here upstairs. How do I get upstairs? There are no stairs on the inside. <laughs> Get onto the second floor if there's no doorway. Sometimes it seems ah. all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Found it. Ah. Oh, money.
Rebellion. Shop. This is Zonko's, isn't it? No. Whose is this? No, that is Zonko's. Ah, <sighs> I have to just give up. Before giving up, I need a break. So, we're gonna make a save, and I will just look at the map when I get back for now. I'm gonna turn threaded optimization back on. What was the other thing I changed? And I'm gonna copy that YouTube link before I forget too. time I think it is did it not appear for you crazy definitely showed up on my end Uh, did OBS crash? We're good. Things are waking up after Hogwarts. Which is fairly part of the courts. I don't know if this will load it, but let's have a peek. Everything taking forever to load. Oh, I normally clear chat every time before I stream. Those are the up to date ones. And it doesn't mention tea time. Sad. Oh, are we alive? Marco. Oop. Still trying to open the NVIDIA control panel because I want to change that setting and open Hogwarts before I leave. That's my plan. To make changes and reopen the game so that I can then leave, go make a cup of tea and come back to a game that's loaded instead of getting back and sitting for another 10 minutes. It definitely showed in my chat. So if I went to display capture and showed OBS, I could scroll up and show you it appearing in mine. But I guess browser plugin version of chat didn't call up the history for announcements. Oh wait, you can see it there in activity feed. Look at that. It does tell us. Did I even change the title? No, I must have.
Holy Mother of Tabs? Warlock, please. This is only one of my chrome windows. This is actually one of the things I'm more proud of putting together on the stream, because it's a complete illusion. Let me see if I can find it. I think this is the JPEG? If I squish that bit, that's allowed. Um. And <laughs> you wonder why the game is loading. Look, I'm sure this JPEG behind all of the actual browser plugins is doing fine being loaded in, okay? Let me get rid of these. And then you can actually see the JPEG. It's a PNG, it's got a cut in it. And also, it's the wrong website. Don't look at the URL, because it's the wrong one. <laughs> I still haven't fixed that. And this is like the sixth time I've had this up and pointed it out. Maybe I should just keep it. No one will know if I don't say anything. Even drag my little window around. It goes behind everything. Oh, that doesn't have a snap spot. Hang on. Control Z. There we go. <laughs> I took the screenshot, but because I needed it to be live and I took the screenshot when I wasn't live, I had to do some sneaky editing and get rid of a lot of tones branding and put my own there, but I forgot the URL itself. Which would be the easiest thing to replace because the URL doesn't need any of the live features or timers or anything like that. Oh, and I never did get the timer working, did I? I'm pretty sure the timer still isn't counting up. No. Sat there at zero, 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 zero. Sad days. I need to find a better timer system than the Python script I have, because I need several different timers. And the Python scripts are terrible if they overlap. Um, so long as I never actually open the Python script configuration page, they're fine. But if I ever do, they all realize they're the exact same script and they all have each other's settings. That drives me insane. If I could get a proper, genuine, dedicated inbuilt timer that could duplicate and multiply itself across different elements, I'd be happy. But at the moment, the Python timer is the best I've got for the AFK screen and the startup screen. And it's meant to be that timer there. Um, I don't know why it doesn't work, though. And every time I go into settings to make it work, it breaks every other timer in OBS. What's wrong with Tone? I don't think anything's wrong with Tone. Look, you can even... That's the one thing that isn't edited. Is my face over there, signed into Chrome. The whole window itself is basically edited, but my face is the Chrome profile. It's probably the one unedited thing here. Oh, I suppose, bar the tabs themselves, the theme. My taskbar there is all unedited. Those are all my programs. And the photo was apparently taken at 7.54 in the morning. Wow, it's quarter to three in the afternoon. Okay. But that's also why I hid the users in chat section. Because if this was real, I could actually show users in chat since it would be updated live. But it's JPEG. And I took the photo of her own stream. 
while he was live and edited out all of the other elements to look like my page. Um, but I can't take, like, it doesn't work. The illusion is able to be broken once the users section there does an update live. And I don't know a way to pop that out. It's technically just another chat window, but there's no way to open a chat window by default to users in chat. Right, Hogor Legacy. This is the old one. <clears throat> Wait, does that mean? Ah, I have to re-add Hogwarts. None of my settings are being applied. Credit optimization might not even be applied. Wait. Oh no. I think I need to go back here. I need to capture backup, backup capture. And this is going to be the inevitable video control panel not responding. There we go. Now oh, you can see what I see. What happens if I make it tiny? Oh, it's not responding. Joys! The joys of everything coming out of compressed memory. Mainly the operating system. Ah, it's fine. Who needs operating system these days? At the rate I'm going, I might actually unironically end up with a command line interface OS in the next couple of years. Because I'm more likely to postpone actually moving to Linux until I get to the point where even Linux is like, no, nah, I don't like that. I'm going to get more picky as I get older. On. Every time I see OBS lock up, I don't know if I'm still audible. I really should just keep a constant stream of conversation going so that even when OBS locks up, if I just have random bits and pieces of conversation not make sense to people, then at least I know. Alright, add selected program. Image scaling use global setting. No. Can that be application controlled? Off is fine. Enter Tropic Filtering Application Controlled. Enter Aliasing Mode. And I turn it off. Enter Tropic Filtering. Low latency mode. I think that was one I turned on. And then it was threaded optimization. Power management prefer maximum performance. Our linear op threaded optimization is enabled. So I guess now we have to turn that off. But you know what that means? That does kind of straight up mean that the only change that we applied this whole time has been moving it to the SSD and it's been running so much worse. Threaded optimization on. No, off. That's what we want.
Half of low latency mode is set to on. I'm going to... what is ultra? I'll try ultra then. We'll apply all the changes that are meant to be applied, but that 